is Justin Michael McGee. You know, I was born August 30th, 1981. I'm 30 years old. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about this good program that I just got heard of it's called Recycle Force, where they help you out. And uh, first of all, I'm gonna start with a little bit about my past. Uh, I was young, you know. Went to I went to college for for about a good year and a half. Then I didn't finish uh, college, you know. So I started, and I had a girlfriend. So then I, you know, had a guy to make money somehow. So what do you do? You know, you make your money the way best way that you think you know how, without even thinking about the consequences until the end. So I did my thing for a little while, then I got caught up on a, on a federal distribution bid. Went away for about three, four years. You know, just spent some time in a lot of counties, spent some time in prison. And when I come out, I really didn't have no type of uh, direction, no type of thing what I wanted to do, besides this little paralegal thing that I started when I was in, actually in prison, that my mom actually hooked me up with. You know, shouts out to mom. All right, and I, so, but when I come out, you know, I started looking around for jobs. You know, everybody says, while you're in there, the stigma, the stigma is that, you know, you got, even though you're a felon, you can still get a job. But you got to think about how the economy is and how many people that you know that doesn't have work. So, therefore, when people, when you go out to fill out your applications and everything, and they ask you if you have a felony, even though they're not supposed to discriminate or say anything against you or say, yeah, we still hire you even if you got a bad record or if you've done this or you've done that. But you got to think about there's other people that's out there that don't have jobs, that don't have felonies, that's filling out the same applications that you're filling out. So my uh, probation officer actually came to me and said, would you like to try to get into this uh, place called Recycle Force? You know, you have a 50-50 chance. And I was like, sure. So I came up here, and I did the little orientation thing, sat down at the computer, you know, put my name in there, blah, 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 whatever. I popped up, bam, I'm in the program. This one, the best things that actually, it actually got me back motivated to get back into my paralegal work, to get back into doing my studies and finish it off because these people here, they actually like help you. You know, it seems like everywhere else you go and everywhere else you live, people looking down on you, they don't try to treat you less because of your past. These people take you for who you are at this point in time and that's something that I really like and can respect about that. So uh, I really like this program because first of all, you know, I mean, it takes it takes up time during the day. You're getting paid even though it's not much. You know, it's getting paid. They say that I don't mind is the devil's playground. So you gotta, you know, I mean, you gotta keep your mind busy because once, you know, you're sitting out there, you ain't got no job. First thing you're gonna wanna do is do back what you've been doing. So this place, this uh, place, Recycle Force, it, you know, gets you a job, gets you going, it gets you certified and a whole different types of things, gets you certificates to show your employers on the way. It's nothing but a transitional job program, but it's the perfect tool that felons and other people with records can use to move, have a, this is a small baby step to push you forward, because they actually help you look for jobs. You got people here that, you know I mean, you got a window of opportunity you look at every day, you come in after, you come in after, you know I mean, after work, do your little job development thing, they got computers sitting right here for you can get on, look up jobs, do what you gotta do, and this place really helps you out. It's not like they're trying to, um, hold you back, they're actually trying to push you forward and there's not there's not too many people out here like that. You know these people don't get paid much, but you can tell that they love their job and they love helping people. So that's one thing that I do get from this uh, program, which is very good. And uh, this uh, job, this even though it's just a transition, you got four months, man, but if you take this four months and you do what you got to do with it and you plan and you, you know, sometimes you gotta improvise, you know, you gotta do things, you gotta meet people, you gotta talk. The only way you're gonna get somewhere is to speak and what's on your mind, what you wanna do. And now that I'm here, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get back into my paralegal thing. I actually have two months to where, you know I mean, I'll be certified paralegal, which is good. You know, good for me, you know what I mean? But, you know, if that's not your thing, you ain't gotta do it. You can find something else to do. Uh, but, you know, that's my thing, that's what I really enjoy. So, you know, that's what I, you know, these people here and these connections and the people that you meet, you know what I mean? It's not all the time about what you know, it's about who you know. And these people know a lot of different people in a lot of different fields. They know people in warehousing fields, they know people with legal, they know people with, you know, trash, you know, whatever. Get you a good job somewhere you need to go. And these people really help you out. The only thing that I could say is that that's bad about this program is that it's only transitional. But you got to understand that everything in life is transitional and you have to move on, you have to take the step, you know, you take a step forward. Like I said, my name is Justin McGee, that's all I got to say, that's all I got to do.